uh, good stuff so far. Uh, okay, what I what I do uh, now, uh, uh, well, is I write the fairy tale. So this will be a, a fairy tale. Uh, I read about uh, sometimes Jones. Sometimes Jones is this uh, homeless uh, character. He he uh, is a, goes from about. 15 to 28, and then he kind of disappears. And then he resurfaces when he's 50. <laughs> and there's this desert of between 28 and 50 where I don't know where he went. I just don't know. So this is a. Uh, sometimes Joan speaks to God. Now, exactly how it happened was like this. Sometimes Jones was sitting quietly all alone in his apartment, staring at his favorite wall. And all of a sudden, he feels his presence, and he hears his voice go, God knows. So Jones looks around, and there's nobody there, so he thinks he's hearing things, and he turns back to his favorite wall, and all of a sudden, he hears, God knows. So Jones goes, who's that? And the voice goes, it's me, God. But there's nobody there. So Jones looks over at Socks' his black cat with white feet that had been asleep over on the couch, and now Socks Sock's back was arched way up, and his fur is standing straight up, and he's looking all around the room like he'd lost track of the fly he was chasing. And he looks over to Jones with this, hey man, that wasn't me. <laughs> so Jones knew that Socks had heard the voice too. Now luckily, Jones' brand new Walkman tape recorder, which he found in his pocket after taking a shortcut through a department store, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> the tape recorder was right on the desk near his hand, and he figured if Socks could hear the voice, maybe a Sony tape recorder could hear it also. And it was right at that moment that sometimes Jones prayed for the first time in his life. And sometimes Jones' first prayer ever was, Please, dear God, let the batteries be good and let them last. <laughs> and then he pressed record just as the voice goes, You ever hear that, Jonesy? You've heard that, right? God knows. And Jones was thinking, I wonder if God knows that I don't believe in God. Not even right now. But this fact didn't seem to bother the voice in the, in the least because the voice just continued. I mean, I must personally hear God knows about a million times a day at least, right? Yeah, right, a million. Easy, goes Jones, looking all around the room like he lost the fly. And the voice goes, well, if the truth be told, I don't know. And if we really want to know the truth of the matter, there's just too much to know. Who could know everything? Come on, get real. It's a very human child notion. Remember once a long time ago, you really believed that your parents knew everything. Of course you did, but you outgrew it because, of course, they didn't. Nine times out of ten, they were faking it or flat out lying, right? <laughs> What's your point, goes Jones. And the voice goes, God knows? No, I don't. I don't know. And that's it, vis-a-vis, -vis my point. Jones peeks at the tape recorder. He sees the little wheel in the window turning. So yeah, goes the voice. I mean, you make adjustments. You try to learn a little more every day. But hey, I wasn't going on for an infinitely expanding random inevitability. The more you know, the more there is to know. Terrific concept. Perpetual biological manifestation. Very interesting. But I don't know. See? I just don't know. Sue me. I don't know. And Jones is thinking, God is rambling. And the voice continues. <laughs> yeah, see, what I did was, uh, you know, I thought, keep it simple. So I just started with the basics. The voice kept rambling. And the little wheel kept turning. Keep it simple. So I started with the most basic thing. Nothing. And then, see, I slowly added pressure. That was my idea. Pressure. Never been done before. <laughs> But I mean a lot of pressure. And in the beginning, nothing happened for a long time. I mean a really long time. So I got bored and I left. <laughs> God just laughed to himself, thought Jones. Frankly, I forgot about it. While I was gone, kaboom, it blew up. True. Go figure that one out. Who knew? Not me. By the time I came back, it was all over everywhere, and it was spreading and starting to coagulate. Now, i got to tell you, I'm curious. I mean, everybody's got something. Some people are musical. Me, I'm curious. So I just let it go, you know. I just let it go. I left, you know, just to see. And when I came back, in no time at all, space, time, black holes, mucus, genitals, wild and coyote, dental plants, and that's just here. You should see what and what your, what is your point, goes Jones. My point is, 
I couldn't do that again if you paid me and my existence depended on it. It would be like me asking you to predict what's going to be in the refrigerator if the electricity went off and you didn't open the door for six months. Every refrigerator would be different, and it would be different every time you did it. I'm God, not a magician. That's not an excuse. There's no blame. I'm not sorry. Hey, c'est la vie, c'est la guerre, c'est la pommes de terre. I'm just saying. <laughs> now, the fur on socks the cat's back is down, but he's still looking around, trying to see what it is. That's He's obviously hearing, and Jones goes, can I ask you a question? And the voice goes, you just did. <laughs> so Jones goes, okay, okay, very cute, ha ha, but really seriously, is there a hell? And the voice goes, you know, I know this sounds like a generalization, but you really are all alike. But no, there is no hell. Uh, and this even amazed me, as far as I know. There is a heaven. And Jones goes, far fucking out. And the voice goes, yeah, go figure that one out, huh? But yeah, true. But, but here's the really weird part. If you're good, after you die, you go to heaven. But if you're bad after you die, then you don't. Weird, right? I don't get it. And don't ask me what good is. That's your turn. To me, good is just something else in your particular refrigerator. Remember, I didn't plan to make a heaven, but there it is. Go figure. The next time, somewhere else, who knows? But for here, now, hell no, heaven yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's heaven like, blurts out Jones? And God goes, I don't know. I've never been good, and I've never died. <laughs> See, I don't know, and I'll probably never know. Those are your rules in your refrigerator. And then this is very long pause. So Jones finally goes, um... Uh, are you finished? Because there's a couple of points here I'd like to discuss. Well, there is one more thing I'd like to mention, goes the voice. And Jones thinks, I bet it's about me not believing in him. And the voice goes, it's about this whole business of believing in me. And Jones gets a little nervous. Believing in God? And the voice goes, exactly. Believing in me, God. Now Jones is very worried because he still doesn't believe in God. And he figures, worst case scenario, there's only one thing God knows. So Jones braces for the worst. And the voice goes, now frankly, enough people believe in God. In me, really. I mean, believe in me, don't believe in me. Who cares? Not me. Belief in me has never been a problem with me, ever, period. In my opinion, enough people believe in me. The problem is not enough people believe in what I believe in. And Jones, goes, and Jones goes, can I ask another question? And God knows, as far as I know, I can't stop you. And Jones goes, what exactly do you believe in? And God goes, do wow, swing, and bow wow. And Jones goes, do wow, swing, and bow wow. And God goes, yeah, for what it's worth. And Jones goes, okay, but how do you get enough people to believe in what you believe in, whether or not they believe in you? And the voice goes, God knows, and I'm here to tell you, I don't. If the truth be told, it wouldn't do any good for me to think about it, even because if the truth be told, I'm really not much of a thinker, really. What I like to do is do, you know? I mean, if you think about it, I've always done way more than I've ever thought about or said put together. And I'm not saying you should copy me. Actually, there's no way you can, but never mind. My point is, from where I sit, there's really nothing to think about. From where I sit... There's uh, no right way or wrong way. From where I sit, there's either my way or the highway. But that's me, not you. I mean, wrong implies another way, and frankly, there isn't. I'm it. I'm all of it. And when you're all of it, there's no other. There's just this. And this is not how I pictured it being at all. I was totally gone for something else. I should stop. <laughs> I really should stop now. And Jones goes, no, no, keep going. It's just starting to get interesting now. And God goes, no, 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 it's not me. It's your batteries. They're about to go dead. <laughs> I gave you eight minutes. Time's up. And Jones goes, uh, hey, you answered my prayer. And the voice goes, well, technically, yes. But it's hard enough answering regular prayers. I figure if I answer 17% a day, I'm doing mm. great. But answering, please extend the life of my battery prayers, it's a particular nuisance because, you know, they tend to explode. The batteries, not the prayers. But thanks for listening. I just had to tell that to somebody. I haven't talked to anyone in a really long time. <laughs> and if you ever get to heaven, give me a call. I'm very curious to see what that's all about. <laughs> and then Jones feels this amazing silence. It looks over at the tape, and the tape has stopped, and Sox is washing himself now. And when Jones checks the batteries, they're stone dead. He immediately puts in two new batteries, rewinds the tape, and pushes play. The recording is fine. It's perfect. 
You couldn't ask for a better recording. There's Jones and God talking, both voices, clear as a bell, and it's all there. And for the first time, Jones notices that actually God's voice wasn't really...